welcome to my channel. Um, I'm calling this Manny Majesty Shell Bell. That's that pretty color that I have on my right hand, the glitter color. I have some peel base on over some tips and some Skyline Soapworks Crystal Clear. It is the best clear as you can see from my nails. They're super clear. So um, starting with the color Aurora on my pointer finger, I actually have three different kind of like neutral nude shades um, on my pointer, my middle finger, and my pinky. And then I have that really pretty chunky glitter on my thumb and my ring finger. So I'm starting with Aurora on my pointer finger, and then I'm gonna be moving on to Gold Digger for my middle finger. So I'll let you watch this for a little bit, and then I'll be back when I'm ready to go into Gold Digger. So I wanted to hop back in and let you know that I am still using the orange wood stick dipped in acetone. Um, I still love this method. I think it's really helpful to get the powder moved from your cuticle area. And now I'm gonna move on to the second color. So I'm just gonna put Aurora away for a minute and then move into Gold Digger. So Gold Digger is really pretty. It's part of the collection, the Lady Boss collection from Revel, and they recently brought that back during their celebration of their sixth anniversary. So I made sure to get some of those Lady Boss colors that I really liked. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this, and then I'm gonna be moving on to my pinky finger with a different color. So the last color that I'm using is Hush by Revel as well. And this is a really pretty neutral color. It's a little bit darker than the Gold Digger color and a little bit less pink. It's more on the tan side. Um, also, I am using my Triple D liquids. I really love these liquids because they're really thin. They also take a little bit longer to dry. So you'll see me not wipe my nail off right away with the excess powder because I wanna make sure that my nails are dry. It does take a little while to get used to a thinner liquid that isn't as fast drying, but the pros to that are you have time to clean up your cuticle area, you have time to do ombre, so it really is helpful. I also find that the Triple D liquids don't give me dip flu like Revel liquids do. Um, I don't know, it's just a different consistency and a different formula. Initially, when I started doing nails, I didn't buy into the whole dip flu thing. I thought, oh, every product is the same. Glue is glue. But apparently, that's not the truth. Because different liquids don't give me dip flu. Um, and I'm really lucky that I have two liquids now that don't give me dip flu. So it's triple D and then also double dip. So if anyone out there is struggling with dip flu, I highly recommend switching your liquids. Um, double dip is a really inexpensive, great way to try a liquid that probably won't give you dip flu. I mean, it didn't give me dip flu, might give you dip flu, I don't know. Um, but then Triple D is really just the best liquids that I've tried so far. And I do have some Sparkle & Co liquids on the way, so I'm excited to try those. And I'm really hoping they do not give me dip flu. Um, so right now you can see I'm just speeding through my second application of each powder. I like to do two dips. Um, in retrospect, I probably should have done three dips of the Aurora because it came out a little bit patchy. So with those light colors from Revel, you really have to be careful. So I would do that with Aurora. I would do that with some of their other really pretty light colors. Um, one of them is Debutante. That one comes out a little bit patchy, but when they're in this shade, um, it's always probably better to just do three coats instead of the two. But uh, right now I am going to cap and clear on the nails that I've done the solid nails before I move on to the glitter nails. And I will be back to show you what I do with those chunky glitter nails.
So I wanted to hop back in really quick to just show you what I'm doing with my clear. Um, Skyline Soapworks clear is literally the best and I'm a crazy person when it comes to not contaminating it. So you'll see me actually put the lid back on the clear every time I want to dust off a colored nail because I don't want to risk getting anything into this crystal clear. Um, I don't know about you, but when I find something that I love, I'm like really nervous of running out of it. So I actually bought another one so I can have a backup just in case I contaminate this one. Um, but I am trying to be good at removing some of the clear so I can use that for the glitter clear. I probably should remove some of it and use it for my solid colors just in case so I, I don't contaminate a two ounce jar of clear, but we'll see. Um, so right now I'm just dusting off all of my fingers and then I'm activating. I gave my pinky finger a little bit more time before I dusted it because I just wanted to make sure everything was dry. Again, with these slow drying liquids, it's really important to give it time so you don't accidentally mess up your nail. And then the other thing I learned is the peel base makes the dip base dry even slower. So you just have to be aware of that. So now I'm going to take my Majesty Shell Bell Chunky Glitter and I'm going to dump that right into a cupcake liner so I can lay my finger flat into the liner to pick up the glitter. The other thing that I'm going to pop in here is a picture of the wine that I got to enjoy after this Manny. It is a Bordeaux from France and it's a white Bordeaux. So I'm going to give you a little background on Bordeaux. Um, white Bordeaux come in either dry or sweet. Uh, this one is a very inexpensive Bordeaux and it is mostly Sauvignon Blanc. Um, some Bordeaux have a little bit of Semillon in them. Um, the, the more Semillon that's in the Bordeaux, the longer you can keep it. So it's more of an aged white Bordeaux and it has more Semillon um, percentage. This was literally 97% Sauvignon Blanc, which is typical for a really inexpensive Bordeaux. I really like this. Bordeaux because I really love Sauvignon Blanc so it was actually perfect for me that it was mostly Sauvignon Blanc. On the back of the bottle it says to pair it with seafood but I typically just drink Sauvignon Blanc without food because it is just a very nice um, wine to, to sip on and you don't need to pair it with anything because it doesn't have a lot of tannins. So um, I'm continuing this application. I should have mentioned before when I actually showed the Majesty Shell Bell label this is a triple D glitter. Um, I love their glitters. I recently got a couple more of them. They're beautiful and I can't wait to pair them with more Manny's. So I highly recommend their glitters. Um, they come out really nice and it's weird because they look like they're matte when you first see them. So you're like, what is this? It's, it's not glittery. But then when you actually put them on your nails and you dust off, I guess, the powder that's around them, they come to life. So um, don't worry if you get them and they look like they're matte glitters. They actually are hollow. You just have to dust them off and then they turn into this beautiful color. So you can see I pressed a little bit too hard on my ring finger. So I'm going to fix that now with the glitter. Um, glitter hides everything. So it's great. If you ever need to save a mani, I just say add glitter. It works. So I'm actually pressing down the glitters with my finger and I am getting some glue and some glitter on my finger, but I did learn a trick for that. Um, I learned this from Manny's by Megan, who just actually got her 30,000 um, followers on Instagram. So congratulations, Manny's by Megan. Not like you'll ever watch this, but um, so basically if you press down the glitters with your finger and you get the, the glitter and some glue on your finger, all you have to do is just wipe your finger over a nail file, it doesn't hurt, and it gets all the glitter and the glue off your finger. So that's what I end up doing. Um, here's my container of Skyline Soapworks Glitter Clear that I put aside so I don't contaminate my big jar, and I'm going to cap and clear so I can file and buff these glitter nails without hurting the glitter, and then I will be back.
So here I am applying two coats of activator to each one of these nails that I've capped in clear. And then I actually keep a little bit of filing in this video so you can see how I file. Um, so I just kind of take the excess off the sides of my fingers and then I just clean up the shape a little bit. I try not to press too hard because if you press too hard with peel off base on, you could pop off the nail. Speaking from experience, I've totally done that before. Um, so I just like to go around the sides a little bit with my file. Um, the file that I'm using is a McCart 100-180 grit file. And then I go in with my e-file. And my applications have been really smooth since I started using the Triple D liquids because they're so thin. Um, so I really just go in with the file to thin out the cuticle area to make a little bit of an apex even though it doesn't always work out that way and sometimes my nails are a little bit flat if I have a lot of product on there but um, what I'm trying to do is just kind of create a curve where uh, everything is smooth and around my sidewalls and my cuticle are uh, filed down so it's more flush with my finger and then I basically just buff the rest. So I'll let you see, you can see the side profile, what I'm doing is just smoothing down that part near my cuticle to make it um, so it won't lift and so it's as close to my fingernail as possible. Um, my e-file is from iGel Beauty. I took advantage of their sale that they had. They had 60% off, so I splurged and I got myself this really nice e-file. I love it. I'm still learning how to use it. So at this point in my journey, I'm using a very low speed. Um, but then sometimes when I go a little bit higher, I see that it's actually a little bit easier to do cleanup. So, um, you know, later on, I do actually hike up the speed a little bit as I get more comfortable with my drill. So um, I'm using a polar block to do my buffing. I really like these polar blocks. I will say I don't feel like they last very long though, or maybe I just beat the crap out of them. I really don't know, uh, but I, they are awesome and I love them. So um, I do really like to file with those and then I have to order more actually. Um, so after I filed and buffed, I am actually going to finish this mani with a gel coat. Uh, so I have my LA Nail Addicts top coat. It's a no wipe top coat and I'm going to put this over my nails and then cure for 60 seconds so I can use my cuticle oil. My lamp that I got is also from iGel Beauty. It matches my e-file. It's rose gold. It's really pretty um, and it's a UV LED lamp. So I will cure this for 60 seconds and then be back when I'm ready for cuticle oil. Alright, so I'm back after a cure and I'm going to be using my cuticle oil. I'm using Candy Skin Care Sweet Spells. It smells just like Love Spell and I love it. It's one of my favorites. I keep it on my desk and I use it all the time. So thank you so much for watching today. This is my finished Manny and I hope that you liked what you saw. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.